what you guys got another video here for you how long will your ssd or ssd nvme drive last i get this question quite a lot and i thought i'd make a video explaining it in this video so you can check your drive to see the life cycle of that drive and how long it will roughly last now some of these come with a longer warranty than others now warranty isn't a guarantee of the life expectancy of that drive and everyone uses their drive in a different way. So let's go ahead and take a look at my drives that I've got on this system. They are brand new because I've just built a brand new computer, but you can generally do a calculation of how much data you've written to that drive and how long the expectancy is for that drive. So let's go ahead and look at a free piece of software that you can use, which is called Crystal Disk Info. And, uh, you can check this out. Now, manufacturers do normally supply their own software, which you can use, uh, but I'm going to be using Crystal Disk Info because not every drive comes with their own software. So I thought it'd be easier just to show you here by using Crystal Disk Info. So you can download Crystal Disk Info. Once you've got it downloaded, you need to get it installed on the computer. Okay, so let's take a look at the software. You can see this is the name of the drive. It's a Western Digital Black. SN 772 terabyte. The D drive is this one here, which is CT 4000 P3 SSD. So we're going to take a look at how we can find these on the internet and you can check yours. The places to look inside this software is pretty straightforward. You've got your health status. This tells me that I've got 100% health left on this drive. And also the temperature is in the blue. So it's nice and cool. It's not getting hot. And also we have this area up on the top right hand side here saying total host reads, total host writes. This is the amount of reads the drive has done. And this is the amount of writes that the drive has done. There's not a lot because this is quite a new system. But you can also see the power on count, which is for the amount of times you've powered on the PC. So now you know where to check for the total host reads and total host writes and you know the name and the health status and the temperature, we can now check on the data sheet for that particular drive to see what the warranty is and how many terabytes written is allowed on that drive before it starts to fail. So let's take a look at the storage drive first. It's that crucial P3 4 terabyte PCIe M.2 2280 SSD. And you can see it here. And it will give you the information on this site here. So let's go ahead and go down. And if we look at the specifications here and click specifications, straight away you can see here the SSD endurance is terabytes written and that's 800 terabytes. So there's quite a lot of uh, terabytes that can be written to that drive. This is also another key area here saying warranty. There's a five year warranty on this drive. So they're basically telling you that you have a warranty of five years or up to 800 terabytes written on that drive. And if anything else happens to that drive and it's a defect with the drive, it will be covered under the warranty. So a warranty is not a guarantee. They're giving you a warranty of five years. They're not guaranteeing the drive will last five years. They're giving you a warranty of five years. The guarantee. There is no mention of guarantee on here. They're not telling you the drive will last 800 terabytes and it will guaranteed to last five years. The warranty covers five years. So basically, if the drive fails before that time, you can then send it back if it's within that allocated five year warranty and they will look at the drive and see whether it's covered under the warranty of that drive. And that's basically how that works. So they're not going to guarantee the drive won't fail within a year. That could be just a defect with a drive or you using the drive in a bad way, which has made the drive fail. And that way it won't be covered under warranty. So let's take a look at the Western Digital. You can see here the Western Digital Black SN 770 NVMe SSD. And you can go here and it will tell you some information on here, but they do have a spec sheet on theirs, which gives you the full a readout of what this drive is capable of and it will tell you the read and write speeds of the drive it'll also tell you the terabytes written for that drive so let me just blow this up a little bit so you can see it better 
and we'll come down here and you can see on the endurance terabytes written the two terabyte drive which is my one has 1200 terabytes written for that drive which is quite a lot and again you can come over here and you can see the warranty is five years so you can now see that the terabytes written is quite a lot it's 1200 on this drive so how can you calculate it well if we go back to crystal disk info and look at the rights area here total host rights you can see 1239 gigabytes now if you hover over it it will tell you that's 1.2 terabytes or 1.210 terabytes that have been written to that drive so it just goes to show you uh, the amount of hours that this has been powered on and how much terabytes have been written to that drive and we know that we can write 1200 terabytes to that drive so we're nowhere near the amount of terabytes and that will probably take many 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 years before you even reach uh 1200 terabytes written now also you'll probably be replacing the, the actual computer at that stage so the drive will probably outlive the length of life of your computer. That's how long these drives last. So another concern was when people are saying turn off virtual uh, memory, which is the paging file, because it will write to the drive and it will cause a short life to the drive. You're not going to kill that drive by having virtual memory uh, on automatically managed paging file. It's not going to write that much to the drive. Now, another thing I see people say is to disable the indexing for the drive. Now, you don't really need to worry about this. This is not going to cause a major problem with your drive and massively shorten the life of your drive by having the indexing on. And of course, it's just going to slow down the search feature for what you're searching for on your computer. So really, I wouldn't worry about disabling uh, these sort of features especially with the amount of life cycle that these drives have okay so let's quickly talk about budget drives now if you're buying say something like this sandisk ssd plus you'll probably notice that on their website they're not disclosing how many terabytes written is for this drive it's a budget drive and uh, it's not very fast and if you are a high-end user where you're using 3d graphics video editing a massive amount 4k video editing and things like that don't use these drives because they will not last long and you will end up with a failure 26 pounds and 99 pence for a 240 gig drive these are for light use and if you want to buy one of these drives there's nothing wrong with the drive they're reliable as long as you respect what they are when you're purchasing them they're not very fast as i've said there's no specifications here but i do believe that the 240 gigabyte version is about 40 uh, terabytes written they don't disclose it but i have done some research on it also the 480 gigabyte version is about 80 terabytes written but don't quote me on that which isn't a lot compared to what we was looking at before where it's 1200 terabytes written so you're going to reach this a lot quicker they do give you a three year warranty but again if you're using this for high end use where you're doing a lot of 4K video editing and things like that, or playing games and constantly writing to the drive quite a lot, you're going to reach that goal pretty quickly. And it won't last as long, say, as more the more reliable endurance type drives. So basically, you get what you pay for, really. So hopefully this will help you understand how long roughly your drive will last. You can calculate by the amount of uh, terabytes written that you've done in that year and you can calculate how much that is an average of a year, and you can then go ahead and calculate that for longer than your computer. So don't worry about things like that. And also, for things like those cheaper budget drives, don't expect them to last you know, for as long as some of those more expensive drives, because they just won't. They're for more light use, whereas if you're a high-end user that does a lot of stuff, then get the more expensive drives. It will last you a lot longer, and it will have a lot more higher terabytes written and much more endurance anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use if it is then give it a thumbs up just want to say a quick shout out to my youtube members i appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat
バイスで。